Jesus says that we should stay awake, but why is this important? Why should we stay awake? Today we're gonna answer these questions, coming up. Before Jesus says that we should stay awake, he's talking about how heaven and earth will pass away and how no one knows when that will happen. Then he continues talking, be on guard, keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. This is like a man going on a journey and he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his work and commands the doorkeepers to stay awake. He reminds us that he can come back at any second. It's like a man who's going on a journey. This man gives his people a work. Everyone has a work which he has to do. It's the same when your teacher in class leaves the room and gives the class a work. When the teacher comes back, he wants to see what you have done in school but you worked when he was not there. And the same principle applies to Jesus. He says, therefore stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows in the morning, lest he come suddenly and find you asleep. What I say to you, I say to you all, stay awake and pray. Because we don't know when our master is coming back, we should be awake, because Jesus don't want to find us asleep when he comes back to the earth. We should be awake, which means living in a relationship with Jesus and fulfilling the work which Jesus gave us. The earliest manuscripts add and pray to the sentence. Be awake and pray. And that's the number one thing, how we can live in a relationship with Jesus and how we can find us what is our purpose? What is the work which Jesus gave us? Are you aware that Jesus can come back at any second? Are you aware that he gave you a work which you should fulfill? Often I'm not awake. Often I'm caught in temptations. It's so easy to get sleepy like the 12 disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane. Think about what Jesus would think about you when he is coming back now. Would he be happy with you? What are the things in your life which will make Jesus sad when he comes back? Are you tangled in sins that you can't give up? Do you fulfill the work which Jesus gave you? Or do you don't know what work you should do? Jesus can come back at any second. So be prepared for it. If I don't wanna pray, did you help us? to see, to realize that you can come back at any second. Yeah, we will be, we want to be prepared for you, that you are happy with us, you are happy with we do in our lives. Yeah, Father, and I pray that we can fulfill this, that you help us, that you are with us and you give us the strength that we pray to you and Live in a strong relationship with you. Yeah, it's so easy to get sleepy like the 12 disciples. Pray that give us strength and a firm foundation in you, in your belief in you, Father. Amen. <laughs>